How we all doing today? Welcome back to my channel, Divine Creation. You are infinite. I'm so grateful to be here with you today. It's a beautiful day. I got the next four days off. We're moving the rest of the stuff into the new apartment today. I'm so blessed to have manifested that. I'm going to link that video below. I got a nice topic for y'all, but before I hop in, let me just let you know that I intend that you have the most beautiful, prosperous day imaginable. I'm about to turn that shit into a cult, man. I'm telling you. You know what I'm saying? We just chilling right now. I'm about to smoke a little. Mwah. You know what I'm saying? After this video, get chilled out. Oh, man. Listen, I am so grateful for life, man. I know you got... Wow, what the fuck was that? I know you guys are too, but shit, I'm so grateful for life. Um. All right, so today's video. We are going to be discussing what it means... Or what's happening when unwanted experiences show up in your reality when you're in the process of creating that which you desire to experience in this 3D world. I'm going to share with you my thoughts on the matter. But before I hop in, like this video, like my other videos, subscribe, click the bell so you get notified every time I drop a video. You know what I'm saying? I am so grateful. This channel is dedicated to manifestation videos motivational videos, success stories, and I'm even branching out and collabing with other uh, YouTubers and whatnot. Some bigger, some smaller, you know what I'm saying? So let's hop in, okay? So what does it mean when, you know, you set your intentions, you're persisting in it, you're not forcing yourself, you're doing what you need to do, you're um, caring about your life. You're enjoying your life. When the desire comes up, you affirm from the end. Um, maybe you imagine from the end. Um, maybe you script from the end. Whatever the case may be, the point is, is that you're doing what you feel you need to do. Okay? You're doing what feels natural for you. It's not force. It's not coming from a place of lack. Okay. So let's assume that that's scenario A. You're doing what you need to do, and still, for some reason, an unwanted experience comes into your reality, either directly involving your desire, or perhaps it may not seem like it has anything to do with your desire. Here's the thing, and this is my um, kind of perspective on it from experience. Um, well, here, all right. When you get clear about what it is you desire, okay, when you get deeply clear and you set that crystal clear intention, that focused intention that's like in such a way to where it's like, yo, this is what I'm going to experience in my reality. There's no ands, ifs, or buts. This is it. This is what I want. What I want. This is what I'm going to get. Bottom line, okay? Um... That seed, so to speak, for me, I feel like has been planted. Um, I know there's a whole bunch of ideologies going around about planting the seed. Some people believe that you need to feel it with all five senses. Some people believe that you need to be extremely relaxed. I'm sorry if you guys are hearing noises, the motherfucking weed whackers out there, for some reason at this odd hour, cutting shrubs and shit hella annoying man <laughs> but um once you plant the seed okay there are various ways to plant the seed there's no one way there's no one size fits all i know that neville goddard talks specifically about specific ways to plant the seed or to know or how to know that it's planted and i believe i talked about that in my last video i'll, I'll link that below um but it's not one size fits all, okay? And this is no disrespect towards Neville Goddard. I love Neville Goddard. All my Neville Goddard viewers, just know. You know what I'm saying? I'm not disrespecting the man. I'm just saying that there are... I believe that there's an infinite amount of ways to plant a seed for a desire to pop up. And intention is one of them. Um, so assuming that you planted the seed, okay, so to speak... Now, we know that everything that's contained within that seed, okay, and it grows and grows when you water it a little bit every day, it grows and grows and grows until, boom, it's fully sprouted, right? It's fully grown. 
the manifestation pops up into your 3D world. Now we know that every seed has everything needed. So everything that needs to happen will happen in order to get you to your deeply desired end. Well, here's the thing, and I speak from experience, and I know a lot of other YouTubers have shared this too, but you know, I believe it's true. Some of the actions that you take or some of the experiences that you have may seem like that they have absolutely no relation at all to your deeply desired end. At all, literally. It, it see, sometimes it seems like it's the complete opposite. I've experienced that. See, here's the thing. This is a Neville Goddard quote. Um, I can't remember exactly what it said, but it was along the lines of, and I know I know, I talked about this before, and I think my Bridge of Incidents video, and I'll link that below. Um, everything that needs to happen, be it good or bad, will happen in order to get you to your end. Um, I, again, that's not the exact quote, but that's how I interpreted it. If you guys know the exact quote, feel free to post it below. So, if you're doing what you need to do, you feel it's natural, okay? Scenario A, and you're still dealing with unwanted experiences, just chill out, just just chill out. I'm serious. It's exactly what is meant to happen, okay, to get you to your end. I know some people may disagree with that, and here's the thing. I'm going to elaborate a little bit more. The bridge of incidents, what takes place? Okay, so for me, the moment I get Claire and plant that seed... I've automatically entered into this bridge of incidents, bridge of events, and everything that's happening, even me talking to you right now, is leading me, is exactly what needs to happen. We're not trying to put time on it, we're not attempting to put time on it, but we have to acknowledge that we never know how or when. But that bridge can either be staggering, okay, all whopped and shit, or it could be a straight, clear line, um, and it can either be a long bridge or a short bridge um and it's dependent i also believe on your self-concept how you view yourself how you view the world perhaps your beliefs um the thing about limiting beliefs is i feel like if you do have limiting beliefs they will cause you to um, they will cause a lot of doubtful, fearful thoughts to enter your consciousness, to enter your, that, um, logical part of yourself, the, the part of yourself that, that's really processing what I'm saying right now. Um, and it may cause you to maybe react and may cause you to maybe, um, think some negative, nasty things. And that may delay the bridge of incidents that may, uh, that may, Create it in such a way to where the bridge of incidents is, you know, you just kind of push that road back a little bit farther. So now you got to walk a little bit more to get to the other side. Whereas if you have a good self-concept, if you have a healthy set of beliefs involving what you're creating or in general, um, that bridge is going to be a nice, clear, straight path. And it's only a matter of time before you get to the other side. So, um... It's it's very dependent. Uh, I mean, it's very uh, up to you. It's very um, on you. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking to you right now, but uh, for you guys in your reality, I would suggest that you really take some time and, and really see where your thoughts are, where your mindset is at with what you desire, your self-concept, the world, everything. Um, because if you're experiencing a, a lot, a fucking massive amount of like see things appearing to go backwards and and up front and and down the alley and everywhere in between yeah i would suggest that you um really uh take some time and, and figure out where your focus is at where those uh that self-concept is at because again and i agree with caleb from pluto's gate when he says this the limiting beliefs the blocks don't prevent you from manifesting your desire but they create situations that when you focus on them, um, it's kind of like getting you to focus more on that negative than what you deeply desire. And that can kind of halt the progress a little bit, halt the process a little bit. Not halt as in stop, but like more so delay the process. That I believe. So it's really up to you. So 
that's scenario A. Uh, you're doing what you need to do. You're doing what's natural. Um, so, well, I think I covered scenario B. I was going to talk about uh, scenario B that I was going to talk about was if you're um, just flat out fucking only experiencing uh, negative situations after planting the seed. Um, and that, I suppose, is what I meant by the uh, beliefs and the self-concept and right now. Basically, if you have a healthy self-concept and view of yourself and the world and whatnot, beliefs, whatnot, assumptions, your bridge of incidents is going to be smooth. You know, for predominantly, you're going to be chilled out. You're going to be focused. You're going to be relaxed. You're going to be calm. You're going to just be going with the flow. You're going to be chilling, okay? You're going to be doing what you need to do. You may not be focused on it as much. Whereas if you have a shitty self-concept and a bunch of fucking limiting beliefs and whatnot and whatever the case may be, um, your bridge of incidents may be staggered. You know what I'm saying? You may experience a lot of um, unhealthy kinds of situations um, that may cause you to react and whatnot. And you know what I'm saying? It's fine. We're all human beings. We're all on this journey. We're all improving ourselves. But um, that's kind of my uh, viewpoint on it. And um, again, third time, I would really suggest that if that is happening to you, that um, you really sit down with yourself and get clear about what's going on up here. If you're doing what you feel you need to do and you, seem, and you um, feel like that there's nothing happening... Uh, I would recommend that you just remind yourself that this is happening now. Even take notice of the fact of how chilled out you may be or how relaxed you may be when it comes to your desire because that is progress. And just remind yourself that things are happening behind the scenes and it's here now. Whatever you're creating is here now. Um, that's something that I've been incorporating. I've just been reminding myself that what I'm creating is here now and I am so grateful that it is here now. So, yeah. Um, I hope that... I pray that, um, I intend <laughs> that, um, that this video clarifies things for you guys. If you still have questions, feel free to drop questions below. Feel free to, um, reach out to me. All the info will be posted below. Hashtag success coach manifest on Instagram. Hashtag Joey underscore Galan at yahoo.com. Hashtag Joey Galan quotations. Jay Galan on Facebook. Or you can join my free Facebook group that will be posted below. Hashtag divine creation, you are infinite. So let me do one more recap. If you're experiencing, if you planted the seed, whatever the um, case may be, planted the seed, and you're experiencing uh, flat out a shitty bridge of incidents, I would suggest that you, uh, again, I keep saying this because it's important, that you really uh, figure out what's going on up here where your focus is, um, your thoughts and whatnot and um, your assumptions overall, your beliefs. If you're experiencing a chilled out bridge of incidents or a positive bridge of incidents, well, that's evidently clear that you have a healthy self-concept and a uh, healthy view of the world and self and all that um, because everything and everyone is you pushed out, right? So that's really it. I'm going to get up out of here, guys. I hope you have the most beautiful, prosperous day. If you desire one-on-one -on -one coaching, you know what's reached me. It's going to be posted, posted down below. <laughs> I'll post my prices too. Uh, very affordable. Um, so yeah, I'm going to get up out of here. Much love and peace, guys. Blessings to you.